All right, another stock we're watching, Facebook, reportedly looking to create original TV shows. Three million dollars per episode, did you read that? It's a little bit ridiculous, incredible. I mean, it's, it's incredible to me. But listen, I, here's the deal with me. I'm not a Facebook user. I don't interact with Facebook. It's not a place that I go, so it, it might be great news. It's just not something that I'm going to watch. I also am not an owner of Facebook, right? I don't buy the stock just because I don't use it. I don't buy stuff that I that I don't use or I don't know or I don't understand. As much as I understand Facebook, I'm just not a buyer of it. Um, and so therefore, I think it's great that they're going to try to break into this space. I'm not sure though, you know, it seems that it's that space is becoming saturated between Netflix and Amazon and, uh, and, and all and the legacy players, all these and all the legacy players. But now you're going to throw Facebook into the into the uh, into the mix as well. Um, certainly exciting. Certainly something to watch. And I guess we'll see. Three million dollars per episode is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So let's see what they create. But Apple's also trying to jump into the space. They just hired two executives from Sony because it seems to be right. Just what we said. That seems to be the game now. Every all these independents, all these social media companies getting in, technology companies getting into kind of the 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 legacy media space yeah. the, the television space which i think is great because it does create some great shows let's not let's not discount that netflix and amazon have some great uh some great proprietary shows so house it'll of be, cards it'll be house of cards which i love and uh, bloodline which is great <laughs> um but the but the, so it's going to be interesting to see what they create with this both of them apple and facebook